Hello, and happy Monday, June 29th, 2020. Today's show is going to be very, very, very short. And that's because I have some really terrible news. Terrible, terrible news for all of you. You see, I made a goal for myself every month when this coronavirus pandemic began. April, May, now we're to June. I made a health and wellness goal, and I also made a life, better life goal. How to become a better person goal. So my health goal for this month <clears throat> was to walk 10,000 steps or more every day. So far, I'm 28 for 28. My how to be a better person goal for myself was to learn how to blow a bubble. Um, which you're probably wondering, how does blowing a bubble make someone a better person? I'll tell you. Because the only people in the world who claim can't blow bubbles are babies. You know, and I'm 33 years old. There's no reason why I can't blow a bubble. And I tried every day. I tried the first. I tried the second. I tried the third. I tried for the last 28 days to blow a bubble. Can't. Can't do it. Just can't. Can't. So I have to. Can't, I can't talk long today because I only have today and then tomorrow till midnight to learn how to really blow bubbles. So while we're talking today about the days of the day, I'm going to be blowing away, um, hoping that I can successfully maybe do it for you on live action. So I apologize for chewing while I'm talking today, but I'm running out of time. I even got fancy bubble gum. You know, the stuff as seen on TV. Dull bubble. It's called zero bubble because nothing's happening. Anyways, excuse me. Let me get it going here. I, learned, I watched YouTube videos, right on my phone. I borrowed a book, Kindle, How to Blow a Bubble. Just can't. I just can't do it. Can't. Anyways, today is National Hug Holiday Day. Happy Hug Holiday Day to all of you. Hug Holiday was founded by a nonprofit organization called Hugs for Hope Foundation because they realized people need hugs for happiness. And what they did was these people went around to senior centers and hospitals giving hugs to people. Um, problem is this. If you are part of this organization, if you think hugs are the answer, please, 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 please don't hug anyone today, tomorrow, or for the next four to six years. And that's because we are in CVS, coronavirus season. And doctors say the coronavirus season can last four to six years. So do not hug anyone. Unless you want to hug yourself because you're happy that you got it right here the mick number seven yankees baseball is back and the baseball home opener will be yankees and nationals on july 23rd sports is back weather still happening i'll tell you life is really just turn around full circle uh that's it we got hug day we have camera day happy camera day my goodness how far has a camera come in these last hundreds of years. It's crazy. Back in the day, camera was a box, twist, pop, nuts. Now, click on a button. A million pictures at once. Happy camera day. I love staying chatted and talk to you all about it. I got some really cool fast facts. I'll tell you one day in the blooper reel of the show. Can't talk long today because I got to learn how to bubble. Also, happy waffle iron day. Waffle iron is probably one of the most underused items we have in our kitchen. Iron Waffle irons are delicious. Well, not the iron itself. But waffles from the waffle iron are delicious. So, I love staying chat, but I don't know, I'm going to be that pretty soon. So, mm, nope, nope, nope. I can't do it. I was just ridiculous. Anyways, thank you all for stopping by. It is June 29th. Tomorrow is June 30th, which means tomorrow is July Eve. Pretty exciting. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm going to keep practicing for the next 24, 40 hours, and I'll tell you, I'm not a failure. So I'm going to keep going and going and going until I can get this to work. Um, that's all I got for you. Happy Monday, June 29th. Celebrate Camera Day. Celebrate National Waffle Iron Day. And celebrate Hug Day. Just don't hug anybody for the next four to six years because, you know, coronavirus. That's all I got for you. See you tomorrow, everybody. Goodbye.